Good morning, people, and welcome to Your Morning Cup with Chuck, where I help you get inspired, educated, and motivated to a point where all you think is positive thoughts, baby, and positive thoughts create positive action. Welcome to the first cup, KC. This podcast is powered by Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today on the show, I have a very good friend of mine. Uh, been knowing him for several years now. I first met him on the Kansas City Business Owners Association on Facebook. Uh, this guy loves to bring people together. Uh, he's also in the insurance world, so he can definitely sell you, sell water to a fish. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome my good friend John Olson to the show. What's up, John? Hey, how's it going, Chuck? Man, it's going great. It's going great, man. So, how's it... Uh, How's it going in the networking world? You networking wanna... is, is pretty crazy right now. We had a little bit of a hiatus um, with all the, the COVID and the pandemic, but I think everybody is pretty much back yes. for the most part. So, um, you know, it's crazy. You mentioned that we met on Facebook mm-hmm. and you know how many cool people that I have met on Facebook originally and then we chatted and now we do face-to-face stuff. And now look at me, I'm on a podcast for the first time ever. So really? I appreciate you... Uh, Reaching out to me and asking me to be on. Excited to be here. Man, I'm excited to have you. So, like I said, I've been following you for a couple of years. You've been helping people come together for a long time. But a lot of people don't probably know your story or know who you are. So, you want to tell uh, our listeners a little bit about who John Olson, the social media comedian slash networker, <laughs> slash insurance agent slash insurance agent. i can't I, I keep forgetting that you're in insurance because you do so much networking that it's like you're it's so busy time job well i think you spend so much time trying to get other people to meet each other that you know no one really gets that opportunity to know who you are so this podcast episode is it gives you kind of an opportunity to tell people uh who you are and why you do what you do yeah Well, I am definitely a a child of the 80s, so I'll hop in my DeLorean and go back to 1985, Uh um, back to the future. But uh, um, this movie came out, I think, when I was eight, so I won't date myself too much. Marty McFly. Marty McFly, yeah, yeah. 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 Doc, you know, all those those guys. So, But yeah, I went to, um, you know, I grew up here in Kansas City, Um, went to to high school over at Maranatha Academy, which is right up at Shawnee Mission Parkway in Lackman. Um, I am originally on the Missouri side, so, uh, got in-state tuition at Mizzou. Mm. Um, so I went there, graduated with a degree in business management. Um, back then, um, not, I did a couple of, uh, things right after college. I did, I sold some educational, uh, books and other resources, Mm -hmm. uh, for a little bit. Um, then I got, uh, recruited into the life and health insurance industry, um, which wasn't really an industry, but it was just more of a sales job. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, hey, get, go get your license. And, side side job. And, well, it wasn't a side job. It was a full-time gig. So you made a career out of it. No, I was horrible at it <laughs> because I needed structure. Yeah. My previous places that I worked always had structure. Mm-hmm. This was like recruit people, throw the spaghetti against the wall and see what sticks. Yeah. And you have to be, learn everything on your own. In my mid twenties, that didn't work well. Yeah. I was not structured. I was not dedicated. I needed somebody like, you know, looking over my shoulder, holding me accountable. Mm-hmm. So um, I did that for about six months, um, did individual life and health insurance sales, primarily to business owners. Cause those were the ones that needed the coverage the most. Cause they didn't have a big group that they were part of. So, um, and then, uh, I got recruited, uh, into the insurance business. Um, I had my resume on monster that also dates me, you know, <laughs> from back in the day. They say monster. These might... people probably don't even know what the heck monster is yeah. unless you're like in, in our age demographic or older, but mm-hmm. that's okay. We'll have them go Google. it. I'm pretty sure most of the people that's listening to this podcast are watching this probably around our age. Probably. <laughs> well, maybe it is, maybe it yeah. is. Uh, I like to have fun and make fun of myself. So it's all good. Um, if you do that. So, um, so I've been, I kind of got recruited into the insurance industry. Um, you know, back, uh, in the early two thousands, so I've had my agency for, you know, 20 plus years, uh, at this point. And, uh, yeah, we do property and casualty insurance, which is like your auto home boat. Uh, we also do some, uh, life insurance, 
Um, but really what I'm focusing on uh, here in the last few years is strictly business insurance and business owners and the types of uh, policies that they need. So. So are you doing mostly like commercial or is it res- more residential? Yeah. Um, there's always going to be a little bit of residential um, coverage that we do uh, just because we, when, you know, a lot of business owners want to keep all their stuff with the same agent. Yeah. So if they have a problem, um, he knows not a problem, they, she knows. You know, they know exactly what they're going on, whether it's their car, their house, uh, their business, yeah. know, something like that too. So, um, but there's a lot of different types. One of the things I really enjoy doing with uh, like the small business owners is just kind of like educating uh, them on what types of coverages they need. Right. Um, it's kind of crazy. Some of the people that are out there um, that are licensed insurance agents, but they sell a business, the wrong type of policy that really doesn't cover, cover them. them or they sell them too much, you know, things and they don't really need all of those type of things. So, so explain a little bit about that. Yeah. Like, so what's the difference in coverage? How would you go about Sure. Um, there's a lot of different variations because, you know, if you can pick like three different industries, three different people that run their own business, you can maybe have a self-employed bookkeeper that works out of their house. Um, if you compare that with say like a franchise owner that has like a restaurant. Um, uh, and then if you compare that to somebody that says they clean air ducts, air duct cleaning company or contractor yeah. in general, all three of those are business owners, but they all require different Difference. types of coverages. Yeah. Um, you know, so the basic ones are, are pretty simple. General liability, which is if somebody gets hurt or property is damaged because of something that something happens in the course of doing business. Right. So then you have property coverage uh, as well. And that's something that a business uses. It could be like tools, equipment, um, commercial vehicles uh, of those nature. It could be a building. They own a building, you know, mm-hmm. coverage for that business property. So, um, you know, next thing you would probably have is professional liability. Um, this is key for like consultants, architects, accountants, bookkeepers, people that give advice in exchange mm-hmm. for money, you know, not because somebody's hanging around at the, at the local watering hole after a beverage or two. And they're just saying, Hey, you should do this. You yeah. know, they're just um, shooting not, the gab, just trying to get know. their game off. So these are all from an insurance perspective, mm-hmm. you know, so, you know, I'm not an attorney, I'm not an accountant and I didn't even stay at holiday Inn last night. So you definitely <laughs> want to consult your local professionals yeah. for your specific situation, yeah. but I am a licensed insurance professional. So if you have insurance questions, feel free to give feel you a free shot. to reach out. That's for so. sure. But I also know you're into networking. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you do a lot of networking. I do. What got you? I mean, where'd you start out with that and what got you into what it? Got, yeah. You know, networking is something I always mm-hmm. enjoyed because even for the people that are familiar with like the personality um, tests out there, there's like a called a disc profile, um, a DISC. Um, you know, D's are like your primary driving decision makers. A lot of business owners fit in this category because they're just quick to act and they make the decisions very quickly. You've got your eyes, which are your influencers. Mm-hmm. Those are the people that, that people just gravitate to at parties, you know, and they're able to persuade people to make decisions, whether they mean to or not. Right. You know, that's just their natural personality. And then you have your S's and your C's. Um, which are, you know, people that are methodical, that are slow to react. They're probably not the greatest public speakers. Um, They take a long time to make decisions. And that's typically, honestly, where I fall in. So doing things like podcasts or hosting events is really unnatural to me. It Mm -hmm. didn't come easy. People are like, you've been doing this forever. I'm like, no, not really. Mm -hmm. You know, Um, I started networking uh, in 2004 in week, weekly referral groups. And I got nervous talking to people, mm-hmm. not one-on-one stuff, but if I got up to give a presentation instead of 15 yeah. people, I'd have butterflies and jitters and mm-hmm. I'd go on and on and on. I'd stutter, you know, it'd just be, it'd be, I was kind of a mess, quite right. honestly. But those type of things that I think are good for just business owners in general to, you know, there are people that are natural about it, but we can all get better at it. Yeah. So, I mean, I did that stuff and, uh, you know, I was in a group. Um, that we met weekly and I was, did it for 12 years. I was in committees. I was on, you know, I wasn't the president ever, but I was on boards and served in other 
um, capacities. Um, and then, um, so I, I did that for 12 years. And then in 2016, um, I decided, you know, I didn't quite see the value in it anymore uh-huh. because it was, you know, six or $700 a year. And you weren't getting it. where you wanted to be at. Yeah. It. And it was a, the other side of, I had moved. And so it was a 30 minute drive across town, you know, that was kind of a dedicated four to five hours a week. So you at a minimum. So you left that group mm-hmm. and started your own group. Uh, basically, um, it's called uh, Kansas City Business Owners Connections or KCBOC. Mm-hmm. Um, we have uh, we have a, a Facebook page, a face a closed Facebook group with a little over uh, two thousand members right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a Instagram. You hear that, people? The Instagram. Kansas City Business Owners Association connections. Connections. I mean connections. Get on there if you're a business owner looking to connect with people and get to know somebody today. Get to know somebody. Sorry, man. I just <laughs> I just want to bring that out that this is what you do. You know, uh, it's this. Yeah, I've met a lot of people just through your group. I know. So, I know. We hooked you up with uh, one of your previous podcast guests. Yes, a couple of them actually. A couple uh, of them. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I remember you calling me. And telling me about a sale, uh, an auction that was going on yep. at the uh, National University, National American University. Right. They went out of business, and mm-hmm. uh, and she was she was up there doing an auction, and we went up there. Half my shop over there is a uh, a lot of the stuff that I got from her to start the shop. It still to this day looks. Very, awesome. very good condition. So mm-hmm. I thank you for that because I wouldn't have had that con- connection if it wasn't for you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. uh, and you don't even know this, but she get, you may not even know this, but she gave a little referral fee on the amount that you spent mm-hmm. to me. Ah, so, really? Uh-huh. Yeah. It wasn't a whole, whole lot, but That's I wasn't cool. expecting it. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay, she's here's lunch. Grateful. Type thing, so. she's, a, she's a grateful person, man. And like I say, over the years of that connection, mm-hmm. uh, I've gotten to know her and she's... Mm-hmm. Pretty good down the down to earth soul, mm-hmm. and you meet people like that in the in the world, and you know people like that are genuine. Yeah. So uh, I do follow her still, and like I said, she was a guest on the show. She gave a, a awesome presentation. But these are the type of people you meet in these networking groups, and that's why it's important to get out there and let people know who you are and what you do, uh, because you just never know how valuable you can be to someone else or how valuable someone else could be to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and what you throw in these kind of uh, uh, get-togethers and these little networking events, man, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. So I do know, and I don't want to get stalled on one question for too long, but I do know uh, we went through the little pandemic thing and it kind of shut everything down for a couple of years. You want to explain a little bit of, of how uh, that, what you went through during that period, uh, how you managed to keep people together and uh, how you've been able to re-enter back into the social environments. Right. Uh, you did a rooftop event a couple of weeks ago that was very successful. It involved drone photos, and you put this nice little video out, and it was a great turnout. A lot of people came out, supported. I didn't, I didn't do the video. Mike Raymond did the video. Yeah, it was. He, he's he's the he did our drone shots and the aerial photos and the video editing and all of that stuff. Yeah, and uh, he did it as his donation to the group. So that was pretty, pretty cool. Yes, it was awesome. It was awesome event. I kind of took, you know, I kind of took some of the things that I liked about like the the weekly networking and those type of events. Mm -hmm. And I kept what I liked. And there are some things that I didn't like, you know, I didn't like the fees. So I wanted to try to make the events little to no cost as -hmm. possible. Um, I wanted to only make them once a month versus every week or every couple weeks to make it an event. Mm -hmm. Uh, I also want to make it in a different area of the city each time. So people not have to know. So they're, they get out of their comfort zone. You know, I mean, if you're in Lenexa, is there any reason that you wouldn't go to Liberty? You know, if you're in Leavenworth, would you ever make it to Lee summit? I mean, is that you're going to be your normal everyday commute? No. But if it's once a month for one thing where you can meet up 75 to a hundred to 
you, however many. You meet that client that might spend a hundred grand with you. You might. I have. I've, you are literally one connection away. away from changing your family tree. Yes, that's it. And that's so, what it's about. And it's out there, but in order for you to get find it, you got to get out there and look for it. You you so. don't do that. I mean, and this all started on Facebook. Mm-hmm. You know, all of this stuff started on Facebook. So how long has this group been on Facebook? Since 2016. So 2016, so you've been running six years. Yep. Six years strong. How many events have you had? We are probably, I kind of lost track because we took, a, like I said, a little bit of a two-plus year hiatus mm-hmm. um, w- with COVID stuff. But, yeah, we're probably around 18 or so events. 18 events. And this last event, we had double, double. The amount of the normal amount of people of the highest event ever. Typically we would have yeah. 40, 50 people. Right. And uh, I think we had 60 once or twice, maybe. And we're back in 2019, Yeah, you know, um, is when we hit those numbers. But now a lot of people are seeing how important networking is because of the COVID uh, the pandemic right. thing. Uh, and networking has all of a sudden became a very, very vital thing again. So now everyone's back in action, trying to get out and trying to meet and see people. Uh, you you normally have these meetings once once a month. Once a month. Uh, the next meeting is going to be June twenty second, hosted by me, hosted by you, and the producers of uh, No Solutions Production Studios. Uh, you want to explain, uh, give the audience a little bit of information about that, uh, where, what time, when? Yeah. Um, so we are still, um, kind of ironing out the final details of everything, mm-hmm. but what we are going to do, it's going to be, um, Wednesday, uh, June 22nd, and it's going to be from 4 PM until, uh, whenever, probably eight or eight 30. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to start, uh, at your place, Chuck. Uh, luminous technology. Luminous technology. We'll, we'll throw the L up. Yeah, we'll put a little thing in the bottom of this podcast or something like that with a link to your mm-hmm. website or something. I don't know how they do it. So, uh, you know, we'll start there. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to be at your place for an hour from mm-hmm. four to five. Uh, we're going to be here at No Solutions Production Studios uh, from five to six. Uh, we actually might. Put together a couple things. We might put together a video, including Uh-oh. some people that Uh-oh. attend this, so that maybe they can get a firsthand experience of what it's like to be in a podcast in a green room. Right? How's that sound? That sounds like an awesome idea to me. You know, the one of the problems, one of the problems that you have when you've been doing something for a while mm-hmm. is getting burnt out. Right. When I have a different location and a kind of a different theme and a different thing, it gets it a little get, interesting. It gets. Yeah. And when you go bigger, guess what? You always want to go bigger. Yeah. You always got to one up yourself. So uh, the I was group super, gets bigger though. The group gets bigger. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that means the networking gets bigger. And, and next thing you know, you got a network of a, of a thousand people that just turned into 10,000 people and they're all doing business together. Right. And, and it's all, and I get a, that's honestly, that's one of the, the joys that I get out of this mm-hmm. is the kick of bringing the people together that did, had no idea they wouldn't ever have met except through either the Facebook group or one of the events or maybe right. both. So um, there's been people, I don't know if there's anybody that's like gotten married or anything like that, or been the best man or best, you know, uh, maid of honor and a wedding or something like that. But mm-hmm. I do know plenty of people that have made quality business connections right. and they're super excited about uh, the things that we're doing. So that's I get a kick up. out of that. Well, I mean, you do a lot, man. You really do. Like I said, uh, you really don't get paid for what you do. You spend a lot of hours and time in helping people come together. So it was good to show up at this last event, the rooftop event, and see uh, so many uh, donators, uh, seeing people get involved, seeing people. Now, I feel kind of guilty because I actually uh, didn't, wasn't able to make it. I was able, but... It kind of like slipped through the crack on me and it didn't really hit me until I showed up and I seen how important it was to the event. Uh, I kind of like tried to reach for the wrong. um, You guys have the lanyards Uh and it was a nice green one. And of course, my colors to my company are associated to green. So I went (laughs) to reach for it and 
got my hand slapped. Get your hand slapped. Nope. You know, it's really kind of, before we get too far sidetracked, I forgot about part three mm-hmm. of the event. Yes, we got to get that in. We'll have to edit this out somehow. No. Uh, that's what these guys do. So He's but awesome. part three of this is we're going to go um, around the corner. It's, I think, about a six-minute drive over to uh, the Rub Barbecue. Mm-hmm. It's technically an Olathe address, but it's very close yes. to where we're at. Um, so um, dinner and uh, more networking will be on your own, and we're going to do that immediately following here. So anytime 6, 6.15, 6.30, as soon as people clear out the parking lot, uh-huh. um, we'll go over there, and we'll meet there until uh, everybody leaves. Yeah, until they kick us out. Until so, they kick us out. So, so I want to first give a, a shout-out to – Dan Jansen over at the Rub Barbecue because he is the one that's opening up his uh, back room mm-hmm. um, for anyone that wants to hang out with us after uh, the tour through No Solutions uh, and, Productions. And I haven't been there yes. before, and I'm all excited about barbecue, so I'm going there after we finish taping this. The only thing I'm going to say is this. Brisket or burn-ins? B- brisket and burn-ins. Both? Okay. They, so he has these bowls. Uh-huh. Now, this is how good of a friend this is to, for me. This he's he's a very good friend of mine. Very good. When you look at his menu, see I'm from Nebraska. Right. Uh I've I've been a corn husker for all my life. Do you know what the N on the helmet stands for? What Nat Eater? Knowledge. Yeah, well. That's a joke. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I went to Mizzou. Our football team's not much better, so yeah. I understand. Yeah. Well, I mean, we used to battle each other a lot. Right. Well, Back but you guys really weren't our biggest competitor. people. It was Texas. We those right. Texas, Texas teams, man. They always cheated us, man. Yeah. But that's another. That's a whole another podcast. Episode. <laughs> we'll reschedule that sometime in like 2024. Yeah, no, man. Um, um, kind of forgot where I was going with that. Dan but. Jansen. No, Dan Jansen. I want to give a shout out to Dan Jansen over at the Rub Barbecue. Uh, he he's opening up his room for us to uh, do our little networking event uh, this this coming twenty twenty second the twenty second. Uh, he definitely has some awesome uh, awesome meats, man. Awesome. When I say my favorite, I would say the ribs because they just come apart. Like ribs are good. They fall apart. But he he has a bowl up on his his menu board that says the Nebraska Bowl. So years ago, I told him, "Hey man, you know Nebraska used to win a lot of those 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 bowl games, man." And I don't see nothing up there that say Nebraska on it, man. I think you should make something up there and put a Nebraska Bowl up there. It even just sounds right, the Nebraska Bowl. And he eventually, with his mind, Uh because he has a mind. When you look at him, to me, he's always thinking. When I look at him, he just seems like he's always thinking. But, no, he 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 made a, a bowl called Nebraska Bowl, put it up on the menu. I was like, man, that's pretty neat. Touched me. But uh, my favorite bowl there back. isn't actually the Nebraska bowl. Actually, because I don't like corn, cheesy corn, and it's 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 got cheesy corn in it. But uh, for people who like cheesy corn, it is an awesome dish. It's called the Nebraska bowl. But my favorite bowl is the hillbilly bowl. Hillbilly bowl. Okay. And it comes with a brown sweet brown cornbread. With the brown sugar on top, and he take the baked beans, and I like his baked beans because they're infused. He, his lima beans, he has lima beans in these baked beans. Oh man, and I don't even like lima beans, <laughs> but I'm getting you hungry right now because you just look like you are salivating right I'm now. I'm like, okay, cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. No, and but figure, talk he to does. Yourself the rest of this time we got to fill. Yeah, he does have it. Uh, he, it. Anyone comes to this event and. They go from Luminous Technologies, uh, which, like I say, we're we're an awesome company to gain knowledge about. Um, but once you leave there, you come to the studio and you guys see how the studio is ran and and the awesome opportunities that the studio holds for anyone out there that's trying to network and and get their name out there a lot faster or on a larger scale. Uh, the studio can definitely help them do that. And I think that this will be a little more uh, eye-catching for the networking crew. So I think they'll get a kick out of this part, but when they get over to the rub, man, that's it's on. That's, it's on. Uh, so 
I definitely like to see everybody there. But um, so, how can people get in touch with you and find out more about your organization and your group and how they can volunteer, how they can donate, how they can get involved with your uh, your this new networking challenge that our world needs? Mm-hmm. Um, so, so yeah, you can find me pretty much anywhere. I always tell people I do a, a very bad job of hiding. So just John Olson. <laughs> Uh, and I'm sure you guys will put that on there, but J O N and then O L S O N. Um, you can, uh, friend request me on Facebook, find me on LinkedIn, uh, find me on Twitter, uh, the whole place. Um, there's also KCBOC. Uh, there's a group and a page. Both of those are on Facebook. Um, we just started an Instagram and a Twitter, um, over the weekend. Cause I figured why not? Mm-hmm. Um, I did a, by default, I didn't do a ton of research on the my little acronym that I created six mm-hmm. years ago, but I did a quick Google search on KCBOC, and all that shows up is we got a YouTube channel, so we put the the video on that last one. Yeah, and that uh, popped up, and that popped up. Um, so uh, we're also going to be doing uh, another thing that I've started doing, and we just started this last month. But mm-hmm. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Is we're going to have a different member present something new. Mm-hmm. Um, like educational uh, to the group and then record it and do it, uh, you know, via zoom or one of those and then put it on the the YouTube page. Mm -hmm. So um, whether it's marketing, advertising efficiency, uh, last month we did uh, David Wanamaker with five star, um, uh, five star solutions, I think. Um, Mm -hmm. But he was talking about Google reviews Mm -hmm. and how to get more of them and how important they are to your business. Um, But it was about a 45 minute thing. It's the educational. It's educational. Give you something to know and about. one of the things that I tell people on these YouTube type videos or even Facebook videos for that matter, you just kind of earmark it or bookmark it. You don't have to sit there and watch it, but it's like a podcast, you know, like this. Yeah. You could just put it on your phone in, in your park, in your driveway or from your home to your office or vice versa on a road trip. Just hit play and just listen to yeah, it. Yeah, just listen. You know? Because um, that just helps with your visibility. Um you know, probably the majority of them, you don't need to see anything, mm-hmm. you know, anyway, you're just listening to it. All right. So, you know, why listen to the radio or, you know, something that's not you've heard before you've heard over and over and over, and over again, listen, listen to something new you can learn from mm-hmm. that on there too. So, but, uh, yeah, I think we're in the process of putting together a website too. So you want to take a moment to talk about some sponsorship? Yeah. Well, so one of the things, one of my goals when I kind of created this is I didn't want it to be like a big, like money grab. Mm-hmm. Um, like some organizations are all just about the money. You know, it's two, three hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars a year to be a part of an organization. And, you know, I think there's a couple sides to it. It gets people bought in, right? Because if you're paying that kind of money, you're bought in. You know, at least for that six months or year or however long your term is. Mm -hmm. Um, That's one of the things I didn't care for as much regarding just networking just in general. So I wanted to make things fun and easy to go to. So what I've done is uh, just create um, like a sponsorship opportunity Mm -hmm. um, like for this last event. So what I did is I was like, I want something unique that we can do. And, you know, we just had these like cheap stickers that you could bought at the store for name tags and they were bad. So like your shirt or my thing right now, they wouldn't stick because right. they were just cheap. You know, it's like I bought there, I went there and I bought a big roll for whatever, $3 or whatever it was, you know, um, for one of the events. And I used them until they ran out. It's like, I don't, we need some lanyards. So I'm like, okay, we're going to put KCU BOC on some lanyards. And, I wanted people to put money in and I had them put in anywhere between 25 and 50 bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking people for freaking thousands of dollars, right? but what you're going to spend on lunch or dinner with your significant other. And it's just to help you continue to do the things that you're able to do. You get these things and we're going to buy, we got 250 lanyards and I got 50 of them that were sponsor green. And then I got 200 for the rest of the general public that weren't sponsors. And Mm -hmm. I gave them blue. So it's just, you know, hey, for the money that you put in, a minimal amount of money that you put in, you got uh, to basically stand out. You also got the microphone for your whole thing. So guess what? Every All those 125 people that were there, they knew that you put in your money, mm-hmm. even if they didn't get a chance to meet you. All right. So, And that's why I think this video thing is going to be super cool because, you know, we can publish that after the fact. And you know, right. so many people there were like... 
hey, this person did whatever. And I was like, I don't know who that is. And I'm like, there's so many people here. I don't know who that is either. (laughs) So, so it's a documentation, find a way to document. And that's why the photo booth thing is a a good opportunity too. Oh yeah. The photo, I even forgot about that. I got too many things going on. Yeah. But we're going to have a portable photo booth as well. So we get, we're going to have some sponsors for that and we're going to have some flags made up and some other things. Um, because it's amazing when a few people put in a few dollars, how far huge, it'll go, how far it goes and yeah. how efficient and we have some great sponsors. You know, I had, uh, you know, Shannon Tooley, uh, put together, uh, the lanyards and it was kind of a last minute deal. She got stuff. I gave her, her thing in the group too. And I mean, it was just an awesome experience because it was, uh, she just went over and above, even though sure. she couldn't be at the event because she was in Puerto Rico. So and that's the story you told me that they were going to be late and she just went over them. Mm-hmm. Those are the type of people you that you business. know that are going to do good by you in business. Yeah. So, sure. So I'm hats off to you, Shannon. <laughs> that. Hey, I just, I'm just keeping it real, man. Uh, you meet good people in some of these groups. Uh, and it's just good knowing that you can, you have a source to get yourself out. Cause it is a lot of people out here who are new business owners that don't know how to actually get out there. Now, me personally, I went to school for business and science marketing and I like to talk a lot. So is that why you have a podcast? Man, that's why I think I have a podcast. I have a, a morning blog where I talk to myself. Uh, I mean, I got all kinds of stuff going on, but uh, the big thing is I like to help people. Absolutely. And uh, I like people that like to help people. Uh, and you normally flock together when you enjoy helping other people. So at these networking events uh, that we do, that we, we do attend, um, I just want to, and I know this is, I know we're, we're getting ready to finish up here. Uh, but I just want to put this out here because I do know that at some of these networking events, uh, you do get that person that walk up and say, hey, hi, my name's this, you know, and nice to meet you. Here's my card. Uh, thanks for talking and move on to the next person and don't even give that other person an opportunity to actually speak. Uh, you got to be mindful at these these events uh, to some people don't understand that it's just you're not here just to let people know about who you are. You know, people are also here to let other people know who they are. Mm-hmm. So take the opportunity and take a little time out to slow down enough and focus on uh, gaining something instead of giving all the time. Cause these networking events, you have a real large opportunity to gain a lot from it. If you take it the right way, like I say some people, they come to these events and they just, they want to sell, 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 sell. And that's not, what is is man? So when you and I'm gonna give you opportunity to tell the audience and the guests uh, your side and 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 what you expect out of these these meetings these 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 networking events. Uh, how would you want to be presented? Uh, if someone was if you were meeting in if you were meeting someone if you were just approaching and networking someone, how would you like that networking uh, experience to go? Yeah. Well, one of the things that I did, um, you know, and, and networking, it really needs to be a 50, 50 split. Yes. Um, if you can do better than that, if I'm talking to you and it's the first time I've met you and I can be 75, you and 25 me, that's even better Yeah. because you're going to get to tell your story and I'm going to get to know you and, Fortunately, with my profession in the insurance world, insurance is insurance. You know, you have a business, you should have business insurance. You have a car, you should have car insurance. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. I don't need to really explain it too much. You know, TV ads have done a lot of that, you know, for better or for worse. But one of the nice things or one of the things that I like to do, especially when I know a lot of people at the group, is if you walked into the group and said, hey, my name's Chuck. And I'd say, hey, Chuck, how's it going? My name's John Olson. You know, I, and however I would want to put it, you know, I have an insurance agency um, over in Independence. You know, what kind of work do you do? So I'm going to ask you about your business, how long you've been in business. And then I'm also going to say, like, what would be a good referral partner for you? And because I might not be able to refer you 
one or two people a year. But if you tell me, hey, I would like to meet a general contractor that's going to refer me seven people a month, and I know that person, mm-hmm. I'm going to say, you need to meet my friend, boom, yes. and I'm going to I'm going to find them at the event. Or maybe if they're not at the event, I'm going to say like, hey, I got a person you want to talk to. Let me grab your card and I'll send you an email or a text or a Facebook message or however you want to you know, communicate about this person. And then I'll put you in a group together. Mm-hmm. So I might not be able to refer somebody directly, but if I can do that, how much value did I just bring to you in five minutes? And it can be priceless. Your one connection away from changing your entire family tree. One connection. One connection. And that's why like, notice a change in the KCBOC and the logo connections. Yeah. Connections. We're as strong as our weakest link yeah. and also a rising tide raises all ships. So as, as a community, as Kansas city business owners, if we can all raise our quality, raise our level, raise our quality of our teams, that we have our employees, our staff, or however your business is set up, we're all going to benefit yeah. long run. We're all going to get the five star Google reviews. Mm-hmm. We're all going to, you know, make more money and live a better quality life, provide a better quality life for our team members in the that community. Are around us. Yeah. So it's important, man. That's what it's about. They say your your net worth is your net worth. Direct correlation. Direct correlation. That's neat. Yeah. I always tell it. One of the things I always tell people is like, check your circle. You know, if you hang out with your nine broke friends, you're bound to be the 10th one. Yeah. So. That's some real stuff right there. That's, that's for sure. And I, I heard that through a networking thing at some point. Now yeah. there's some things you're not going to break. You know, have to, you know, you can't say, Hey, your best friend since third grade is, you know, blah, blah, blah. But you know, and you're related to who you're related to, yeah. you know, your, your parents, uh, your relatives, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters. I mean, they are who they are. You're not going to do that. But yeah. if uh, you can expand your circle, you know, if you're the smartest person in the room, you're in the wrong room. Yeah. You, you, you have, you have no one to outdo. Mm-hmm. I'm and, just full of one liners. Yeah. I didn't even pull any dad <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Can you believe Hit it? Hit me with a dad joke. Hit you with a dad joke. One dad joke, man. Oh, my God. One gosh. dad joke. Can I Can I re- just read you what I posted on Facebook? Uh-oh. 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 This is going to get interesting. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> it's going to get interesting. It's going to be interesting. I turned my phone on airplane mode, so we'll have to figure out if I can actually uh, turn this back on for a moment. So, because I, I don't pull these things off. I do pull them off sometimes. Mm-hmm. But, uh, all right. This is my friend. Um, my friend, Lindsay, okay. She's an insurance agent in Texas. We have fun all the time. Uh There's a conversation. She says, hungry. I said, maybe you should eat. You should check the fridge. You're Russian to get those puns out. They're a Spain to put up with. Really? I don't Bolivia. You've got to be kidding me. Denmark, my words, you will not find better puns. <laughs> Kenya, think of any more jokes. Nah, okay. I ran out of ideas. Oh, man. This is but going I can rack my brain for a while. <laughs> anyway, that's a great way to end this episode. <laughs> that's Overcut. funny. That's funny. It's better if you read it. Yeah. It's, but, it's, but it's, it's still good. It's like one of those... Uh, if it was, what did it call it? If it was a cane on, uh, uh, what was the TV show back in the day where they booed you off the stage or they caned you? <laughs> they would have caned you off with that one. No. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably. No, John, man, uh, thanks for that sense of humor yeah. that you have. Uh, you make it easy you know, for people to uh, stay active on the page. Um Thank you for taking your time out to connect people. Uh, connections are very, very important, especially in the business world. It's hard nowadays trying to keep your business afloat and knowing that you have extra connections out there uh, that you can turn to or you can utilize. is is awesome. And a lot of people out here have found you 
uh, and found other businesses through you uh, for the last couple of years. And man, you've changed. You might not realize it. A lot of us, the things that we do, we don't realize what, what it does in other people's lives, how it affects other people, but cause we live in our normal lives and going about it. But uh, you do definitely affect Kansas city. Uh, a lot of people know you and we do appreciate all of the, the resources that you bring to the table for us in the city. Uh, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait for our event here coming up in the next couple of weeks. I know it's going to be a hit. Uh, and I will definitely uh, welcome any and uh, everybody that uh, follows the page uh, to come out and, and join us and, and let's get to know each other. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah. Well, once again, it's uh, my first uh, guest ever on a podcast. So I yeah. appreciate uh, you inviting me and uh, I had a lot of fun. I'll yeah. do it again. That's so, for sure, man. That's for sure. We'll do it after the event. Maybe have a recap and maybe we'll have some, some photo booth or drone videos or I don't know, whatever. Something crazy. Heck yeah, man. Well, it'll be more shows, man. Like I say, we got a lot of production stuff going on with No Solutions Podcast. Uh, I know it's also a kind of a, a ringer out there that you might be even starting your own mm-hmm. uh, little business owners uh, yeah. podcast. I've we don't know. I've, I've kicked it around for like two three years but mm. i think after this i'm totally on board so keep your stay, eyes out y'all stay, stay tuned stay tuned stay tuned but for anyway oh. for more information uh on how to be a guest on the show uh or for how you can be a sponsor and sponsor the first cup kc uh, reach out to us at the first cup uh this has been a no solutions podcast productions Again, thank you all for listening. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And as always, stay positive, people. Bingo.